We're gonna 2015 Nissan Altima. We're gonna replace the belt. The belt is stretched out and all this is the original belt. It's making a squeaking sound. Sometimes it could be your tensioner, but I did yank the tensioner. It feels good. But if you replace the belt and the, it's still making a chick chick sound, you probably got a bad tensioner. It's probably not pulling enough load. So this is the belt we got. That's the part number right there. This is the belt right there. It's a small little belt. So I got me uh right down here. I took off the cover. It had a few clips here. So the cover is right there on the floor. I went and got me this 3 8 drive long ratchet. This is almost like a two and a half foot long. Got it on the on position, meaning I'm able to tighten bolts with this. Um, with the, uh, what is this? This is a 17 millimeter. So, tensioner is right there. It's really tight. I got it. Yeah, you push that in. There you go. Perfect. Perfect. So, the tensioner has a 17 millimeter. Okay. So, a matter of time, me get that baby right on it. I'm going to have to come back out, twist the socket a bit so it has a different spot position. I'm going to go back in. I'm going to try again. There you go. Whoa. Came right off. There you go. And if I yank this, you see that? There you go. All right. So, my friend is here helping me. We're going to yank this baby. And what I'm going to do here is. I'm gonna slip the belt off, and that's it, let it go. Belt is off, I don't know if I got it in the correct spot. And the belt is off. Okay, belt has no load on it, perfect. But my tensioner, there you go. So our belt should be completely off. This light is bothering us back here. There you go, that's how simple it is. Make sure you draw a draw diagram to prior to taking this off and it does go on the alternator up on the top and let's see if i can get this baby off from right here all right so i'm gonna get this belt ah oh, come on i thought i had it off so i'm just trying to get the belt off the alternator pulley which i could do from up top so what we, you know what we're gonna do we're gonna bring the car down because i can't reach up there you see this right here the belt i couldn't get it off the alternator so we're gonna just we're gonna just pull up the belt instead of down or we'll just send it down you know what we'll send it down and that's it and then we're gonna get the new belt on there you go so what we're gonna do is we're gonna send the belt up fix it up here and then we'll reroute the whole belt belt on as you can see right there that's a new belt and this is the old belt usually when this stretches out this thing will slip sometimes your tensioner will um not pull the belt enough but we're not changing the tensioner because it's much much more expensive do the belt first and let's see how it goes so what we need to do it now is rewrite the belt so this is the part that you guys might not see so what we're gonna do is uh we're gonna rewrite the belt okay it goes it goes on the alternator, then it comes straight down to the AC compressor, and uh, so let me get the belt on, and then I'll show you the ending part. Don't worry about you getting grease on it; it's gonna just smash everything off once it starts to run. Okay, guys, so I got the belt routed. It's off the tensioner, and also the water pump up above. The belt is a little bit off, so I'm gonna have to fix that up as we go along. You can see the AC compressor from down here if you need to. But other than that, it's all a go-go, okay? So let's see what we can do here. Okay, so what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna get the tensioner uh, yanked. Now we're gonna put it on off, so we're going the other way. Oh, you know what, yeah, no, I made a mistake. We're going the same direction, okay? Because we're yanking the tensioner still. We're still yanking the tensioner. Not yet, not yet, Ralph. I'll tell you, I have my friend here helping me. This is his car. So, what we're gonna do is once you have this on the tensioner, well, it came back off, so it's not gonna be that easy. Things are never easy, so everything went off. So let's get this back on to the water pump. Okay, maybe maybe I can put this on too. No, no, I don't want I don't want to put it on to the crank pulley. 
that's gonna make things very very difficult so it's gonna be detensioner only okay so what I'll do is I'll have my friend help me here and at the same time let me get this in and then he'll just yank the cover for me so I can see it better okay, let's see how this goes so I'm gonna have to go back a bit just be careful with your fingers Okay, my camera mount is bothering now. Okay, I don't want to sh make sure your socket is on properly because if it's not, you might strip the tensioner. You don't want that either. Okay, so this baby is coming off the water pump now. Problem after problem. Ooh. I believe it's real here. Okay, so if I do this, it comes off the water pump. I'm gonna give it another try. Pretty good. Something is off. I can feel it. Something is off. Water pump is off. difficulty doing it from bottom here so i am gonna yank the tensioner from over here while my friend here is helping you see the belt is almost done so the last place you want to put it is the alternator okay so i'm gonna give him the light and i'm gonna try okay so we're not gonna see much over here so what i'm gonna try here is i'm gonna i'm gonna try to show you guys everything that we're doing so i'm gonna yank this tensioner because we still gotta fix it a bit all right, so we got our tensioner here. I'm gonna yank this tensioner as a tensioner. He's gonna fix up the belt up from the top. Go ahead, you done? Yes. Done, can I let it go? Yes. All right, so let's see what he did. He just became a mechanic. Perfect, look at that. The baby's on perfect. That's it, double check all your work, put the cover on, bada bing, bada boom. Thank you for watching.